Hello everyone and welcome to another video. So in this video we are going to take a look at this uh, solar charger from Suwaki and in my previous videos we have already taken a look at the 7 watt, the 14 watt as well as the uh, 20 watt version, uh, sorry the 25 watt version. So in this video we are going to take a look at the uh, 20 watt version. So as you can see this is the box and the packaging is very similar to all other uh, models. So when you take it out you again see the very similar uh, build. You got your Suwaki logo the same ring and your magnetic uh, function to open the uh, solar charger. Let's keep the solar charger aside. Inside the box you again get four pieces of uh, aluminum carabiners, your instruction manual, a thank you card and a silica gel to keep the moisture away. Now about this micro USB cable which I did not mention before in my previous videos. I figured out that these cables are only charging cables so you cannot use these cables to connect your phone to a computer. So if you need to be able to uh, connect your phone to a computer you will need a sync cable and this cable does not work as a sync cable so there is basically only two wires going from uh, one connector to the other that's not very good anyways that's not a very big deal you can replace this cable with any other uh, sync as well as charging cable that will be much better quality than this one so let's keep the box aside and take a look at the uh, manual itself so this is the manual and if you look at the manual you can see that this is in fact the 20 watt version but we will check it under the sunlight whether it is actually 20 watt or not and in my previous test uh, if you've seen my previous videos you already know that this is not going to be a 20 watt uh, solar panel so let's keep the solar uh, manual aside and take a look at the solar charger itself so this is the solar charger again very good quality uh, chain inside if you look at you again get your uh, LED plus your dual port uh, charger so you can connect two things at a time and charge them at the same time let's keep it close once you open it you again see your monocrystalline uh, uh, cells one two three four and five six total three panels and both of these panels are supposed to be 20 watt as the company claims of course so if you measure the length of the uh, solar panel let me take out a measuring tape There's one. So if you measure the length of the solar panel, it is about uh, 21 inches long and this is going to be about 10 inches. There we go, about 10 inches wide. So uh, this is very similar to the 25 watt version. The only difference being uh, it has three panels and the 25 watt, uh, 25 watt version has uh, uh, four panels, four such panels and they, that make up the 25 watts. So without any further delay, let's just take this under the sunlight and see whether we can charge something or not. And we will measure the output of the uh, solar charger using a multimeter such as this one. This is the Rui Dang UM34C. Uh, so let's just take this under the sunlight and measure. This. So here I've got the uh, solar charger, the 20 watt uh, Suwaki solar charger, and it is in full sunlight and today is our lucky day because uh, we're getting the best sunlight we could possibly get so to test the unit all i'm going to do is use my uh, um34c this is a usb tester which will tell us the voltage we are getting as well as the current that we are getting from the charger and this is a load which will simulate a load that is a phone connected to the charger and using this load we will be able to uh, uh, check what is the maximum current value we are able to get at 5 volts without going below 5 volts what is the maximum current we are able to get from this uh, 20 watt Suwaki solar charger now I can easily connect this uh, unit directly to the solar charger but that wouldn't be a practical or the real example of how you would use it you would uh, probably use a micro USB cable so I'm going to use a micro USB cable I'm going to connect the micro USB cable to the solar charger then we will connect the micro USB cable to the unit uh, which will uh, act as our phone and that should give us the current that we are able to get at 5 volts so without any further delay let me just uh, connect the wire and do our test now as you can see you can see the LED is glowing and we got our two USB port so let me plug the USB cable in one of the ports and it became cloudy now so 
so the USB cable is in and I'm going to connect the other end to my USB charger which is here and then we will measure the uh, reading out of the charger so if you look I've got a micro USB input on the left of my uh, USB meter so all I have to do is connect my USB meter to the charger and as you can see it is working now I hope you are able to see yes and now I'm going to increase the current a little bit so you can see the reading coming out of our, our solar charger so I'm slowly going to increase the current values so we are getting 400 milliamp 500 milliamp 600 milliamp 700 milliamp one amp 1.1 amp one point three amp and at one point three amp you can see that the voltage is at four point seven volt so we can easily get about one amp from this one point one amp from this solar charger swaggy twenty five watt solar charger sorry the twenty watt solar charger without any problem so that's comparable so there we go this charger is basically comparable to your one amp wall charger uh, my final verdict on this charger is do I recommend this charger absolutely uh, even though the company claims that this charger is 20 watt I wasn't able to get 20 watt from this charger but there are many companies who claim the same and none of them are uh, capable of giving uh, the full wattage that they claim to be so one thing that I've learned in my experience of using these types of solar charger is that you will get a better luck if you use a smaller cable uh, using a cable smaller than about two feet will give you the maximum from your solar charger so there we go this was my video on the swaki 20 watt solar charger i hope you found this video helpful i want to thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys in my next video bye